So I'm not touching it. You can see it's it's very annoying, but it turned on our hazards and brought us to zero. Complete stop. So in today's video, we wanna to talk to you about autopilot and how to safely use autopilot because I'm calling BS on all these news stories of people being asleep while on autopilot or sleeping for one of the articles I think said like 30 miles. Somebody supposedly followed them and saw all that. I call BS. It does seem awfully suspicious that all these stories are coming up all of a sudden. And it also seems suspicious because it's physically not possible for the car to drive under normal circumstances for like 30 miles if, on autopilot. If they're not doing something to try to defeat the safety measures that Tesla exactly. has implemented. There's two cases that come up that you can do this in. The first, and I think probably being the most obvious and the most thing people are doing, is basically playing a prank. Having someone drive by them and just record them while on autopilot and they are playing the part of being asleep. That's actually probably what I'm gonna say most cases are. The other case could be, like David said, using a cheat device. And of course these cheat devices are not authorized, they're not supposed to be used, that's why they're cheat devices, but yeah. like the, the government has already said, you're not, you know, they've they banned, one banned of them. at least one of them from being sold. Uh, people are finding other ways of cheating autopilot safety measures. It's not advisable. No, and when you actually enable autopilot, it says that you will always be in control. So these cheat devices, I'm sorry, I've made fun of them in the past because I can't fathom ever using one. It's asking for a problem. Yeah, n not until full self-driving exactly. is out and officially released. You should not be trying to do something like that. You should be always maintaining control and paying attention and not sleeping. This is the end user who buys the Tesla. They're either A, cheating the system, or B, playing a prank. But now when it comes to pranks, we are semi-guilty, although I really don't think so, because we did have a prank recently, and it was one where we actually did a full self-driving demo. So basically, in the full stealth driving demo, we had autopilot, and we were telling you that it was an Easter egg that you could yeah, uh, enable. enable to have an inflatable autopilot, similar to what was in Airplane the movie, pop up and take control of your car. And I sat in the back seat. And while that looked pretty good in our, you know... Did a good job editing. Editing. Not going to lie. That we actually filmed that by using a trailer. And so yeah, so we we literally, we were trying to do it with the Model 3, but we couldn't because it couldn't fit on the trailer because it had been lowered and we were kind of in a rush, but we actually just rented a U-Haul trailer and U-Haul truck and flatbedded it and then stitched some other videos together and made it look as real as possible. Let's be honest, it was a joke as soon as auto inflated. Yeah, I'm surprised, I more, mean, <laughs> I'm surprised more people didn't get it was a joke. Yeah. We had a lot of people complaining. A ton complaining of comments saying you should never do this on a real road. That it was You're... against the law, we were putting people in danger. Yeah. But there wasn't an inflatable device driving our car. We, exactly. We, we were driving the car when we were filming the official, you know, the... The, the uh, exterior shots. shots. Yeah. Or we had the car being driven on a trailer by a real driver, not by an inflatable. Yeah. And actually, as some of you even saw, some of you commented that, oh, I saw David's hand at one point. And uh, yeah, that was an editing blurb. It was a reflection. But it goes to show you, we didn't like make something dangerous it was on a flatbed truck that's how car manufacturers do it for tv commercials and stuff like that it was completely safe so i'm actually not going to take responsibility for any of these pranks because ours wasn't putting anyone in danger these people are doing it at 70 plus miles an hour on the highway even if it is for SNGs, there's so many other issues that could arise from this but we wanted to show you something because in Model S, we kind of did this a while back. Yeah, it's flashing really fast. Oh, getting oh. louder. Holy cow. Yeah. It's already started slowing down. Wow. Okay. Wow, that, that was pretty quick, actually. I was surprised yeah. once it uh, did that. And the hazards are on. And this is our test to show you that there is no way to get around autopilot. Um, in Model S, we tested it, uh, did the autopilot jail video. And that got a lot of traction and everything, a lot of views. But we want to test it in Model 3 because we haven't yet. 
And this just is going to show you that after about a minute and a half of not touching the wheel, the car will come to a stop. And this is not using any cheat devices or anything. This is driving it like you should, just not paying attention. Yeah, so the last video we did was about a year and a half ago in an Autopilot 2 Model S. Today we're going to be doing it in an Autopilot 3 Model 3. Yes. Oh, that, that has a nice ring to it. Oh, you can't see, but I, I winked. But You're I, winking. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, so we want to show you that without a cheat device and anything like that, the Model 3, if you're not paying attention, will come to a complete stop. So in case of an emergency, it will stop by itself. So we're going to go ahead and just throw this into autopilot. And we'll put the time up on the screen on how long everything takes until it like starts beeping at us and everything. But so far, so good. Yeah, usually we can go around the curve here before we start getting any sort of reminder, but the times might have changed. That was a year and a half ago, several yep. firmware updates since then. And we've never done it on a 3. I think we have actually, we just didn't uh, not film it. It's own specific video, yeah. Yeah, we were just playing around with it. So as you might be seeing, Eric is not touching the steering wheel, he's ready to take over. There's no traffic on this road. Even though we are testing, I still want to be ready to take over if needed. Okay, okay. We get the first apply message. Apply light force, or apply slight turning force. And we can see as the screen is flashing. And I expect it to start beeping soon. Yep. Yeah, flashing faster. There's first beep. Another message showing red hands. Red hands, ooh. Seems to be, That's getting serious. Yeah, it seems to be lasting longer than when we tested it last time. Yeah, last time we stopped right here. Yeah. One more reminder. Mm. Oh, there okay. we go. So, I'm not touching it. You can see it's it's very annoying, but it turned on our hazards and brought us to zero. Complete stop. Yep. There's now, we do have someone coming behind us, so we are going to have to go. But we wanted to show you that if you're not paying attention and like something is completely debilitated you, that's what will happen. There's no way not holding the wheel, again, asterisk, while not using a cheat device and using autopilot like you should, will ever drive you 15 miles, 30 miles, whatever those new J's and T's. There has to be some input yeah. on the steering wheel or the car will stop. Yes, exactly. Turn on the hazards, come to a complete stop. Yep. And it'll warn you the entire time. And if we'd had the radio going, it would have lowered the volume of the radio and played that annoying beep to get your attention. Yeah, and so just kind of like Model S did back in the day, we'll link that video in the iCard, definitely check it out. Uh, it actually l turned the radio down to make sure the beep was audible and really made the beep super loud too. So it really tries to, there's no way that you would miss the visual and the audio cue. And even if you did, it would come to a complete stop. There's no way it would keep driving. Okay, so there you have it. We just kind of wanted to debunk this and talk about this a little bit because I've been seeing a lot of these articles and there's just... A lot of misinformation. A lot of people... A lot of misinformation and... and or misunderstanding or, of how autopilot works. All these news yeah. agencies are picking it up saying this is a regular occurrence now, but it's only because people are either faking it or they're actively trying to defeat yeah. autopilot. Or these news agencies literally are just believing what people are tagging in the photo, yeah. which are people probably playing pranks, and then it just goes viral for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, much like this one, definitely check them out. All linked down below. And using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off your first order. My two must-haves, especially for Model 3, are going to be the center console wrap because I'm not a huge fan of that gloss black. So many fingerprints and scratches it shows. As well as the matte screen protector, which they do actually make for Model S and X as well. And the referral program is actually back with a little bit of a twist. You can now use it on solar, which is exciting Again, yep. because a lot of you have reached out asking about that. And if you actually take delivery of a car by October 1st, yep. you can get 2,000 free miles as well as we would get 2,000 miles. So huge thanks to anyone who has used it in the past. We've actually been able to utilize those miles on road trips. But if you are looking to buy it, 
Uh, we'll go ahead and throw that down below. Check it out if you would like. But yeah, that's basically it. Definitely, let's talk about it down below and uh, we can get everyone's opinion. I know it should be a fun-filled comment section on this video, but thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.